Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Saint Tarot. Hope everybody's well. So I'm kicking off um, October round two readings today. Aries, my lovelies, fire! We're starting off with you. <laughs> you know I have to be obnoxious when it comes to my fire signs. I might be obnoxious with everybody this time around just to feel it out and see how it goes. I don't know. Water, earth, and air just don't have the same ring to it when you scream it out like that. I don't know why. Anywho. October round two. If it resonates with you, Aries, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey not mine. Just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising if you sign readings. If you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our difference, cross watchers are always welcome here at the fire sign table table. Everybody's always welcome here at my table. And I appreciate y'all stopping by to say hello to little old me. Really? Really? You're fucking kidding me right now. I'm just going to throw it down on the table right now because I've already cut the cards. Hmm. If you're new here, you'd like to come back and say hello again, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That would be super awesome of you. I'm sorry. This has me thrown for a loop because how many times, Aries? How many times? It's in the reverse this time around of all things. Okay. Hit the, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you might want to come back. That way you get notified when I upload. If you're returning, welcome back. I missed your face. Where the hell have you been? Thanks for stopping back by. I do appreciate it. It all helps the channel. It all helps this video be circulated. So it reaches the people who need the message. So, before I actually invoke the cards, two things. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care if it's my cards or anybody else's. And two, it's not your story... Not your message. Leave the cards on the table and walk away. I'm going to tip down, invoke the cards, and we're going to get it going. We're trying out a new spread today, Aries. You guys get to be my guinea pigs. Heavenly Father, Mother, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any message you for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thanks for coming down and hanging out today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring Aries to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Aries, what is going on? How many readings in a row? How many? How many? Hmm. And I definitely don't like this because these are swords that need to be shaken out. Okay. We're going to talk about strengths and weaknesses. What is your strength? Not of wands, you're a go-getter. You're fiery, you're passionate, you see something, you go after it. That can be a strength. What's your weakness? The magician. Mm. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. You can manifest anything you want in this life. But you have to be careful with this. Because sometimes we manifest things we don't want inadvertently. Mm, what exactly is it that you want, Aries? Six of Wands in the reverse. Weird. Okay, so... Some of you may want like the limelight to die down. Maybe some of you want to go unnoticed. Maybe some of you are too good at what you do. That could be extremely demanding. I'll throw clarifiers on all of these. I'm just throwing stuff out there right now. All right, what's got to go? Eight of Wands reverse. That's a lack of communication.
can be a lack of forward movement as well, but I'm feeling lack of communication. Possibly someone or something that you haven't communicated with, that you communicate communicate with on and off, or something that's gone stagnant or isn't moving, definitely needs to go. What's coming in? Death. Transformation. The chubby little caterpillar going into that cocoon, becoming that butterfly. It's metamorphosis, and it's changed for the better, because it's your growth. Fabulous! All right. What you gotta do? Eight of Cups in the reverse. It's a card of return. Maybe there's something you need to go back to. Something you need to revisit. What's the outcome look like? Five of Wands reversed, an end to conflict. Okay. Okay. We're going to save the rest of this for the end. Let's get a little bit of clarity for Aries. A little clarity for Aries. An avoidance and an end to conflict. I'm thinking end to conflict might allow this to like actually... So you can shake those swords out of your back. Could have been some betrayal involved. I have Aries and Scorpio on the board. So we could be dealing with either one of those signs. I've got a lot of fire. A lot of fire, a lot of air, a little bit of water. Wait, there's... Wait, yeah, well, that's a lot of air. It's a little air and a lot of air at the same time. How many earth, though? Weird. Okay. Universe, can I get messages for Aries for October round two? Clarification on their messages, please. Clarification on their messages, please. What's up with this magician? Talk to me about the magician. Why is the magician a weakness? Six of Pentacles reversed. Okay, this tells me. The universe is always listening. Just throwing that out there. The universe is always listening. And with that being said, God always answers your prayers one way or another. Even if you don't get what you want, God always answers your prayers. If you didn't get what you wanted, it's because he knew that wasn't what you needed. He, she, it, you know, however you view your higher power. I'm just throwing out pronouns. Manifestation can be a weakness. So the ability to manifest can be a weakness if you're giving the universe mixed signals. If you're not putting out into the universe exactly what you want to accomplish, and you're not putting in the work or effort, what do you think the universe is going to give you? The universe is going to give you exactly what you ask for. And the universe is going to put in equal work. <clears throat> What's the Knight of Wands about? Why is the Knight of Wands a strength? Seven of Wands reversed. One more. That message is very unclear to me. Hermit reversed. Okay, I guess the message is what the message is. 
This feels like strength and weakness at the same time to me. Fast mover. You're in, you're out. You don't hang out long enough to fight the good fight. But you don't stay in a path very long either. One more on that. Some of you don't stay in a path long enough to see if it's a dark path or a light path. Because you change paths that fast. Queen of Wands reversed, Wheel of the Year reversed. I'm not liking this. I'm really not liking this. <laughs> Queen, of, Queen of Wands, sorry, Queen of Cups reversed. Wheel of the Year reversed. You don't hang out, you don't hang out long enough to see anything that's going to happen. That can be a strength because you don't get emotionally attached that way. So I guess that can be a strength. I see it as a weakness, but that's just me. All right, what do you want? Why the Six of Wands reverse here for what Aries wants? What some of my Aries may want. To go unnoticed. To disappear into the shadows. To not always be picked. Lovers reversed. Why the Page of Pentacles? Five of Wands. Some of you want it to not always have to be a battle. How weird is that? No, it always have to return. It doesn't always have to be a battle. You don't always have to return from the battle. Some of you might feel like you're constantly in fight mode. You want to not always be in fight mode. Some of you might not want to have to be the one apologizing all the time. Oh, wow. Okay, that's super weird. That's super weird. But it takes me back to don't hang out long enough to fight the good fight. Don't hang out long enough on the path to see where the path's going to go. Don't hang out long enough to develop any attachments. Manifesting. Be careful what you're manifesting because the universe is always listening. Why is the Eight of Wands reversed here? For what's got to go. Why is the Eight of Wands reversed here for what's got to go? The moon. Lack of communication. Someone you have com haven't communicated with. Someone that just kind of left you in the dark. Oh, wow. Some of you are hanging on to something or someone that just kind of ghosted out on your ass. Or you're hanging on to someone that you ghosted out on or you left in the dark. Take it however it resonates. Something that stopped moving. Sun reversed. Something you disconnected from. It's got to go. You got to release that shit. Maybe it'll help you release this shit. Hmm. All right. Why is death here? Why is death here for what's coming in? Ten of Wands reversed. King of Cups. And Judgment. This is going to sound extremely weird for some of you. Some of you may get an opportunity for actual physical closure on this. You realize you don't need it, right? People think they need closure. They don't. Closure's what makes us feel comfortable. Closure makes us feel better. 
Because some of us are extremely uncomfortable just leaving shit hanging out there. We close things out to feel better. We have final conversations to feel better. They're really not necessary. I think some of you held a cup for someone and never told them. Some of you may be getting an opportunity to finally get stuff off your chest. But with that comes the closure. So what you got to do, you have to return to something if you want this. Or you have to let it return to you. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why the Eight of Cups reversed? Thank you. Eight of Wands reversed. Two of Cups reversed. That tells me, with this Karma card, Two of Cups reversed, Eight of Wands reversed, if you revisit it, you don't revisit it to hang out. You revisit it, do what you came to do, you bounce again. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible, but... Yeah, Four of Wands reversed, King of Swords reversed, King of Pentacles reversed. And here's why. There's no stability here. There's no stability here. If you try to revisit this to hang out for a while, it's going to end right back where you were. Conflict, spouting off. So if you decide to, to, to knock on the door and the door is actually answered, okay, cool. Do what you came to do. Bounce again. Extend the olive branch. If you get slapped in the face with it, there's your answer. If you don't, it's not a reconciliation, quote unquote. It's not a reconciliation. It's a closure. Why is the five of wands reversed here for the outcome? Tower reversed. Three of Wands reversed. And to conflict. Why the tower reversed? Three of Cups reversed, yeah. Okay. Okay. It's the rebuilding your own tower somewhere else. It's rising up out of the ashes, understanding why the tower went down, being okay with the comfortable being, being okay, being okay with the comfortable, being comfortable with the tower being on the ground. No longer having to sit around and wait and wonder Again, it's not a reconciliation, it's a parting of ways in a cordial manner. Okay. Any additional messages? Can I get a couple additional messages? One card of an additional message for areas off the clarification deck. Seven of Cups reversed. Be clear when you come back. Don't cause any confusion. Be clear of your intentions. Do not cause confusion. Do not get caught up in any confusion.
Come on, whoa, 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 whoa. Five of Swords. High Priestess. Yeah. Um, keep your ego in check. Definitely keep your ego in check. Any off of this, and then we're going to call it a read. Any off of Steampunk, we're going to call it a read. Knight of Swords reversed. <laughs> I'm hearing there's a reason why this ended, and if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. Page of Swords. <laughs> Queen of Swords. Be clear with your intentions. Be honest. Be polite. Be nice. And be understanding if the door gets slammed in your face. I don't know what went down. I wasn't there. Ace of Pentacles upright. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. You need to understand there's a new start coming for you. It is not this particular situation. This particular situation has come to a close. Okay? Okay? But you got to wrap shit up before you start new shit. All right, Aries. Thanks for coming down. I love you. I will catch you guys. Oh, gosh. Cuss baby readings are coming up after I finish this. But if y'all don't watch those, if y'all ain't cusp babies, which I get it, y'all ain't, um, definitely come down and check out your November reads. Those, what am I starting those? I gotta check my book. Hold on. Projected, no promises. I'm able to stay on schedule. Oh gosh, hold on, hold on. Check the book. Got to check the book. Do, 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 do. October 20th. So those start rolling out October 20th. I'm hoping to have you guys rolled out on the 21st or 22nd. So no promises, no guarantees, but be on the lookout for it around that time. I love you. Take care. And I will catch you next time, whenever that may be. Know that you're loved and be blessed.